Hi again. How are you? So, Jack and Sharon both like the countryside, do they? Can you imagine them alone in a house in the country, cheek to cheek? We'll see. Could be interesting. Now, in this lesson, I want to talk to you about adjectives. Adjectives. In that last episode, they talked about the city and the countryside. So let's look at some adjectives that we could use to describe the city and the country. For example, the countryside is beautiful, but often cities are the opposite of beautiful. We say ugly. Beautiful, ugly, all right? Usually the countryside is quiet and the city is noisy. Noisy. The countryside is usually safe, whereas cities can be, yeah, dangerous. Life in the countryside is slow, whereas life in the city is fast. The countryside is rural, whereas the city is urban. All right? Usually the countryside is charming. And often, cities are modern. Life sometimes in the countryside can be boring. But life in cities is usually interesting. Life in the countryside can be very relaxing. Whereas the city is usually exciting. The countryside is very clean. Anne would like that whereas often cities are dirty. The countryside is usually cheap, whereas cities are often expensive. Okay, so those are typical adjectives to describe countryside and city. Now let's think of people and things. Well, people can be young, but things, we wouldn't say things are young, we would say things are new. So a book is new, but my brother is young. The opposite of young is old, okay? Old. And we also use that for things, so we could talk about an old book. Now, some people are fat, but when we describe a book in that term, then we say the book is thick, not fat. Okay? We can say a person is thin, and we can also say a book is thin. Then somebody is two meters tall. Somebody is tall, whereas we would say for a building, the building is big. Or high. Then the opposite is short. Person is short. And the thing would be little. Now there's another very interesting thing about adjectives to learn. Is that adjectives are divided into syllables. So, for example, if you look at the, the uh, adjective beautiful, how many syllables are there? Beautiful. Beautiful. Three syllables. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay? Let's look at another example. Quiet. Listen to that. Quiet. Two syllables. Quiet. Another one. Safe is one syllable. Safe. How about dangerous? How many? Dangerous. Dangerous. Three. Okay, one more interesting. That's quite difficult. Interesting. How many syllables? Four. Interesting. Pronunciation interesting. Relaxing. Relaxing. Three. Cheap. One. Okay, so all adjectives in English are divided into syllables. You can count them. 
And that's important when you want to compare things, which is what we'll be looking at in another lesson. Now, we're going to go back to that's life and Anne wants to buy a car and Jack is giving her advice. Listen to the way that they use the word should and then we'll look at that in the next lesson. All right, see you then. Bye.